Hey, hey, hey guys, it's the Keto King here. And today we're going to be making something a little different. We're going to be making a keto or low carbohydrate hot sauce. Not only does this hot sauce taste amazing, but it also contains zero sugar, free of any artificial colorants, preservatives, additives, or anything you don't know how to pronounce. So let's get right to it. First, you'll need some hot peppers. Now I've got some habaneros and some general red chilies that I picked up from a grocery store. You'll need some vinegar, an onion, some salt, olive oil, and then some bottles to put your hot sauce in. Let's get right to it. First up, grab your onion and dice it up into small blocks. Grab your olive oil and add one to two tablespoons of olive oil per pot. Now I'm making two different hot sauces here, one in each pot. So note these ingredients are for one pot or one hot sauce. You grab a half a cup of chopped or diced onion and put that in the pot. Turn on your heat to a medium high heat. You just want to fry those onions a little bit in that olive oil. Next, grab your table salt and add one teaspoon of salt. Let that onion fry up really good and keep on stirring it constantly while doing this. You want to just get the onions so it just starts getting a bit of color, but not too much, otherwise you'll get a bitter taste. Next, grab your peppers and take off the stems of each and every one. As I mentioned, I'm using habaneros and some red hot peppers. Now, something I absolutely recommend is using gloves while doing this. I know a family member who's done this before and actually got some of the hot pepper under their nail and had extreme pain for quite some time because of the capsaicin that got under the nail bed. So please, I recommend putting on some plain latex uh, or rubber gloves. Once you've done that, grab your habaneros and add 15 of them into your first pot. Now this first pot is what I like to call my heavenly habanero hot sauce. It consists exclusively of the habanero peppers. I like to grab a pair of scissors and cut the habaneros over the pot. Now habaneros are a fairly hot pepper, so if you want it to be a little less hot, a little milder, what you can do is actually de-seed the pepper and take out the placenta in the pepper. It's the seeds and the placenta which make the pepper hot. I, however, like it exceptionally hot, so I keep in the placenta. For my other pot, which is my second hot sauce, my ravishing red hot sauce, as I like to call it, you add in your habaneros and then add in 28 red hot peppers. Again, just grab a pair of scissors and cut them into the pot with the seeds and all. And as I said before, if these are gonna make it too hot for you, all you have to do is just de-seed the peppers before putting them into the pot. This is what it should look like once you've cut up all of the peppers. Once again, crank up that heat to a medium-high level and keep stirring vigorously. Grab yourself a half a cup of water and add that to each pot. This water is now going to cook with all the hot peppers and really release all those flavors. Keep that heat on medium-high until the water comes to a boil again. Now one of my biggest recommendations for making this hot sauce, and I learned the hard way, is that use lids on your pot. 
that steam that comes up from these peppers boiling in that water is really potent. As silly as this may sound, it truly feels like you're breathing in pepper spray. So what I recommend is keeping those lids on the entire time. No need to open up the lids to stir it, just simply grab the pot and give it a shake just like I did there. Once the water is boiling, turn it down to a simmer and simmer for 20 minutes. To further help with those pepper fumes in the air, I recommend putting on your vent fan on your microwave on high and also opening up every single window and door in your house. It may seem a little extreme, but I think you should take my word on this one. After the 20 minutes, simply remove the pots off the stove and let the whole mixture cool down. Once it's cooled down, it should look a little something like this. Next step is to pull out your blender, add the mixture from each of the pots, so do each pot separately and individually into the blender and give it a real good mix in there. I recommend starting it off slowly and then just gradually increasing the speed. Once you've done this for around 30 seconds to a minute, stop the blender and add 1 eighth of a cup to 1 quarter of a cup of white vinegar into your mixture. The vinegar is a natural preservative which will help keep the hot sauce in your fridge and keep it fresh. Put the blender back on and blend it up until really smooth. Now from time to time you can take a look at the hot sauce and see how thick it is. If it's too thick for your likings, simply add a bit of water to it. I like a particularly thick sauce, so I didn't add any additional water. However, if that's not to your liking, simply add some water, put it back on the blender and blend again. At this point to me that looks perfect. Grab your blender and your bottle. and fill that amazing hot sauce. Be sure not to miss one single drop. Once done with your heavenly habanero hot sauce, put that aside, grab your other pot, pop it into the blender and do the exact same process. Blend it up Starting off slow, gradually increase the speed. After about 30 seconds to a minute, stop again, add a 1 eighth of a cup to a quarter cup of vinegar, pop it back on the blender and blend until smooth. Again, adjust using water to get the perfect consistency for you. And look at that phenomenal color, 100% natural. Pour that into your bottle. And once you're done with your ravishing red pepper hot sauce, you end up with two magnificent keto low carbohydrate hot sauces like this. The best thing about this keto hot sauce is that it is 100% customizable. You can use any type of hot pepper you like, use it with or without seeds and placenta, and you can increase or decrease the water to get your perfect consistency. Your options are truly endless. So go out there and have some fun experimenting with different types of hot peppers and follow these quantities and guidelines as your base and just tweak it to get your perfect hot sauce. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments section 
how you enjoyed this keto hot sauce, I'd absolutely love to hear from you. And subscribe to my channel for more excellent recipes just like this one. And of course, keep it keto.